Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. And today we're unboxing something particularly exciting and gorgeous, and this is Oceans. Um, so this comes from Nick Bentley, um, Dominic Krapuchet, Ben Goldman, and Brian O'Neill. And it's published by North Star Game Studio. So this is a Kickstarter edition. It says limited edition on it, feeling very fancy. And it's a review copy from North Star Games. So thank you very much for that. I look forward to reviewing it. Now, the first thing you know about this box is this cover. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just so, I wanna say tropical, but I also don't wanna say tropical, but it, it is stunning, you can see for yourself. Um, and it's a really smooth cover as well. It's not kind of one of those rough ones, but it is very, very nice. So as you maybe can't see, it's actually quite a big box. Now it's ticket to right size here on the front, but look at the size. It's huge, so it's super deep. Um, and as you can see, it's got you know information written on the side of it. And curiously enough, it has that on every side. So I'm not exactly sure what way around to put it on a shelf, I guess. I guess this one, it's got more art. Um, but that's a little surprising. But we'll go right to the back. Now the back is stellar. Look at that, it's a really cool piece of artwork. Um, maybe this is to do with it being limited edition. Um, and I like that, that you basically have options for which way around to face your game. But it does mean you want to face your game outwards. Um, so if we go here to this side, actually, it tells you a list of contents, what's in the box and what's in the limited edition version two, um, which is super exciting. And we'll go right to the back, which we already did. I'm so used to looking at the back of the box to show me a picture of the game or tell me what it's about. But instead, we just get beautiful art. So I guess we get to go right inside of the box. So have any of you actually played Evolution before, which is kind of the, the prequel to this, although Oceans is indeed a standalone game. And as far as I'm aware, it's gonna be about Oceans. And this is a very tight fit, people. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what do we get inside? Well, the first thing to note is that we have a note so hello, what an amazing Kickstarter campaign. Yes, this game was on Kickstarter. Thank you for your ongoing support. Oh, and it's signed. Isn't that lovely? The back of this page explains how to use the free promo items that were unlocked in the Kickstarter campaign. Enjoy. So I'm quite a big fan of the personal touch. So I think that's really nice actually. And there you go on the back, the first Explorer expansion and some deep event cards explained. Um, so this is a, a reef variant. So ahoy there. Um, if this is your first dive into Ocean Star by playing the Reef variant, become familiar with it. So there's kind of an introductory setup for the first time you play, um, you know, so you can try it out um, at kind of an, an easier level first. I quite like that. I like games that offer those options. It's like, here's like your trial run and we'll keep it simple and then you can add stuff as you feel it's appropriate. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's some sort of assembly instructions. Oh gosh, what do I have to build? It looks like a tray. I'm not much of a builder, people. And there we get how to play Oceans. I'm quite a weighty row book. Um, this is a very nice size. What's it like? The paper is kind of that waxy stuff. It's fairly normal. So it tells you all about the components, the setup, you know, the usual stuff. I quite like how well this is laid out. This is very easy to read and to kind of get into. Some beautiful art thrown in here as well to kind of break it all up. This is very, very pretty and elegant, isn't it? Quite happy about that. Oh, look, hmm, beautiful. And there's scenario cards, camber explosions, the deep and the end of the game. So what's on the back of the rule book? Credits, what a shame. Well, you'd hope it'd be some reminder. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, this art that's going around everywhere. It's, it's very aesthetically pleasing, this game, and it looks very chill. Okay, so now, so now there's a reference guide. Um, for surface cards. So there's a list for every single card that you play with in the game. I always appreciate these just to be certain that you're doing things as intended. Very nice. What's next? Oh wow, we get like, we get reminder booklets. And there's two of these. So it says on your turn, feeding, aging, discard and draw cards. The scientific names. Um, choose the two most important traits of your beloved species, pick a genus and a species for those traits. Voila, you have named that species. Oh, that'd be cool to name a species. And it's got a seahorse on it. And then it's got a picture of the surface cards. So you might get to know, maybe it's important to be able to remember them. And then icons are listed here and some other concepts. So this looks like the piece I was hoping was on the back of the rule book, but instead there are two of them. So I suppose you share them around the table. Okay, nice. 
Right, we're into the cardboard portion. And that's a lot of fishes. Fishy, fishy. Um, I really love the colors. Like, these are amazing. Look at that. I kind of don't want to pop them out. Whoop. Fishy, fishy, fishy for everybody. Um, which is awesome. They're beautiful. Okay, well, this one's willing to pop out. So we'll see what type of cardboard we've gotten. Okay, they're very happy about escaping the cardboard. Okay, so yeah, it's good thick cardboard. It's decent. I love the coloring. Like, whoop. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, so they are lovely. I'll have fun popping out many, many fish. So what's next? So this looks like that assembly instruction thing I've been given, which seems to be a tray. So you can see all the edges here. There are also some giant fish tokens. So there's no fishies, four fishies, more fishies and more fishes. That's cool. And this cardboard is, oh, it's lovely and sturdy. It's just as good as the fishes, if not better. So that's cool. So then here is more of this fishy tray. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. And I'm rushing because I want to get to this bit. Look at this. Whoa, it's popping out. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to see, can I get it the right way around for you guys? Whoop. I love that. That is just so cute. Fantastic. So there isn't 10 tons of popping. It's good to know. Um, so what else have we got here? We have a reserve token. Hmm, okay. With some baggies, always good. Right, um, plastic bags can be dangerous, yes that's true. So this one looks like we have additional fish tokens and more cardboard in it. It might be one of those kind of Kickstarter things, right? And it's like a tiny screen inside of it. So, okay. Maybe that's the extra player stuff. That would make sense. What else have we got in here? Ocean's Light, play game, play tutorial. So. Obviously, you can learn oceans apparently on your phone, which is kind of a cool idea, isn't it? That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now we have more of these basically like hide your hand things. I always hate bending these. Does everyone else just hate bending these things? You're like, what is wrong? But it does seem to be like a little screen. So we have a couple of those. There we go. Whoops. Oh, and it's attached to something. What's it attached to? Some Oceans exclusive promo cards. Um, hello, the sticker. There we go. Okay, let's see what's in here. Exclusive promo cards. So, oh, they're shinies. So we'll have a quick peek at some of these. It's been a while since I've had a foil card. What's the last game you guys played with foil cards in it? Oh, wow. Gosh, the art in this is stunning. Beautiful. I really normally like I think foils are a little over the top, but these are very elegant. Oh, they're beautiful. So cool. So there's, I can't wait to see what all these things do. Wow. Yeah, they are lovely. And they're also they're made of something quite waxy, if that makes sense. So they're quite they're quite durable, but without feeling kind of cheap, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna dig down. We got a, a thank you postcard. Okay, and they want they want your feedback. That's cool. I think it's nice when people, you know, ask for like, well, what do you guys think? We'd like a little help. You can join their mailing list. All right, I'll stand here. Something not shiny. So we also have some more shiny extra cards. They're very shiny, right? Um, so these are also more promos. So species with zero population may be attacked. Okay, so we're getting down to the point in this game where it's going to be entirely made of cards. Um, okay, I have to look at this one first because it's long. It's got fishes. Fishies? And it says oceans on the back. What do you keep in here? Hmm. Okay. So yes, they're indeed just fishes. So we must need lots of fishes. And this is very thin cardboard, but it doesn't, it, it feels just fine actually. I wonder what we use it for. It's almost like a bookmark. They would make great bookmarks. Okay, so that's what those are. I must figure out where everything goes in this insert, because as you can see, someone has built it to put things in it, which is cool, um, but with no indication of where anything itself might want to go. So these are more of those like little, I don't know what to call them, but they also give you bonuses and things, so like abundance traits with um, with gains, gain plus one. So all of those, we'll not put those up because we I think we get what they are. Now, this is where, wow. There's a lot of cards. So we'll have a quick peek um, and see what kind of cards we end up with. Because I'm pretty sure it's not that exciting on your unboxing videos 
to sit there and just watch someone go through all the cards. And this is not one of these deck of cards that has a nice tab on it. I've been doing so good for so long, now I have to attempt and use my trusty scissors. So this is why lots of other people, I assume, open their games first and then do their unboxing videos so they know what's inside. Um, I've not quite got to that level of unboxing. Ooh, cards feel nice. I'm going to start with that. With that. Ooh, they're very nice cards, actually. I quite like these. So obviously these are what we're going to be playing with during the game. And they've got some beautiful fishies. Oh, wow. So these are fab. So I'll try and just give you a quick look at them because the art is stunning. So then we got more fishes. I don't know enough fish names. Maybe I'll learn some fish names. That's definitely kind of squid, I suppose, with ink. And then we're into schooling with lots of fishies. Transparent, it's very cool. And a Cambarian explosion. Cool. Um, so we've got two more lots to get to. Wonder where the cards live in here. Can I go down this way? Look like they might. Okay, let's see if I can open this one any faster. Okay, so what do we got? Tentacles, my feet an additional time, cool. A whale cleaner. Look at the art though, the art is beautiful. Shark cleaner. So I think as well if you're really interested in kind of aquatic life and indeed oceans, this game is probably right up your street. Parasitic. Ah, it does not look nice. There seems to be good for there's a good variety in the cards here, and there definitely seems to be plenty of each type of card. So then the last pile of cards we get to, some of these have I think they're the same back. Of course I pull out the one without the same back. Yeah, these are lighter ocean colours. These are not lighty ocean colours. So let's we'll see what we find in this. So we get some fishies under the sea. Ooh. Apex predator, so pretty. I think some of these are the ones that are, are foil. We'll find out soon enough. Deep divers. These are kind of the darker fishies. And there's a, a lot of variety here too. These are all individual cards as opposed to loads of them like in the other types, which is cool. They're beautiful. I could just sit and look at this all day. I keep saying how pretty the game is. It is very pretty. And the cards feel amazing in your hands. They're lovely and slippy and easy to go through. Whoa, we found a warm-blooded. It's a walrus. There we go. So there's lots of cool things I think to look at and see in these cards. Now, I'm really looking forward to trying out the game itself and seeing exactly how, how it all fits together. Now, oh, I think, yeah, look, I'm trying to figure out this insert. Because these look like they went there, didn't they? Like, I'm pretty sure there's a method to this. What the method is, I have not fully understood. But we'll work on it. Exclusive card promos. I have a feeling they're going to have to go on top because they were in the, the thing. Boop, boop, boop. But everything else I think can just go back in for now. I will arrange it another day. But um, I do think it's nice that there is an insert here. It's a very solid one. I have some bonus stuff I have to get to play with. And then, of course, all the fishy popping. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We do love a good fish. So it kind of kind of fits in. I better not lose my fish. More importantly, how did this fit the first time around? Is it the fish come out of the box and then they're never intended to go back? It's starting to feel a little like it. So all our rule books and our guides. I like all the extras. So it's pretty pretty cool. And then my single fish I can go back in the box till I get them at home. So that was oceans, guys. What do you think? This is a very big box. Um, I think it looks like so much fun and just so much kind of color to it. It's very exciting indeed. I can't wait to try it out. Um, so you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I've just unboxed Oceans. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you could like or subscribe to the channel where I make more unboxing videos and review videos and sometimes list videos that seem to be going down really well at the moment for reasons I can't actually explain. But um, I'm super stoked to get this to the table and try it out and I will report back with my findings soon. And until next time everybody, take care and goodbye.